Newton's third law of motion and gravitation. So Newton's third law basically states every action has equal and opposite reaction. And Newton's second law states that the force is mass into acceleration. Let's see what happens when we talk of the freely falling body. Knowing these figures, let's see how we calculate the acceleration. We know F is m into A. So, A is equal to F by m. When A is F by m, it means that A is proportional to 1 by m. So, this gives us an understanding of the relationship between A and m. So, if m is small, then A is large because they are inversely proportional. If m is large, then A is small. So, now in this case, if we take m is that of the stone, let's say the grounds, the earth mass is capital M. So, in this case, m is much, much greater than small m. So, if you see the acceleration by earth and acceleration by the stone, we identify them. So, acceleration of earth is proportional to 1 by capital M and acceleration of stone is proportional to 1 by small m. This is for earth. This is for stone. What we understand from this equation is, since the stone mass is very, very small, the acceleration is very large. So, acceleration of the stone is very, very large. This is for the stone. And in this case, the mass of the earth is very, very high. Since it is inversely proportional, acceleration of the earth is very, very small. So, if this M, we call it as capital M and this becomes AE, acceleration of earth, this is for the earth. Now, we know there is a force being exerted by the ground on the stone when it is falling down and it touches the ground. It comes and reaches because of this force, the acceleration is exerted on it. Because the stone is attracted to the ground due to its large acceleration. And the same even stone attracts earth, but the acceleration is very, very small since acceleration and mass are inversely proportional. So, from this we understand that the stone is attracted by the earth for it to fall down, whereas the earth, we do not see the earth's movement toward the stone even if there is a mutual attraction by the stone to the earth as per Newton's third law. So, even the stone exerts equal and opposite reaction, but it cannot make the earth move because earth's acceleration is very, very small. The same is true with the apple and ground. When apple falls down, it falls to the ground, but ground does not move towards the apple and this is what Newton has discovered. So, now when we take 1 kg of stone and when we calculate acceleration, it will be 9.8 meters per second square. And the same when we calculate for the earth mass, the acceleration earth experiences will come out to be 1.63 into 10 to the power minus 24 meter per second square. So, we can make out from this and this that this is very large acceleration, whereas this is negligible. Hence, the earth never moves or even if it moves, it is not to be felt or seen by us.